Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the continued love and support of my channel. Today's video, we're getting into signature scents. Um, do I think you should have a signature scent? No. <laughs> Anybody in Fragcom will tell you that. Uh, but we'll get into that a little later. Um, however, I have picked out some amazing fragrances that I feel like would be amazing if you are in the market for a signature scent. So without further ado, let's get into my list of amazing signature scents for women. Okay, you guys, so I was definitely that girl who had one fragrance, okay? When I say one fragrance, it was like one fragrance for five years. <laughs> I only wore perfumes for special occasions. We definitely not doing that anymore, okay? I happened to be watching a video by one of my favorite YouTubers, Amina Edubia. And she's actually got a little bit of fragrance content, but her thing is more so, um, you know, makeup, beauty, lifestyle type of content. And she said that once she got older, she realized like fragrance should not be for special occasion. I think a lot of us were raised that way. Very few of us probably had frag head parents. So something just like went off in my head like a light bulb. Like she's so right. She said a woman should have a scent to her. I agree. Okay. You need a scent. You need to smell good whenever you leave the house. When I wake up, like that's the first thing in my mind. What is my scent of the day? <laughs> I don't care if I'm lounging around in the house all day, if I'm just gonna check the mailbox, I'm gonna smell good, okay? I'm gonna be clean, I'm gonna smell good, I'm going to feel good. If you are the type that feels like you must have a signature scent, note that nobody wants to smell the same scent on you every day, day in and day out, even if you wanna smell it on you day in and day out, okay? It can be the best fragrance ever made. It's going to get old, it's going to get mundane, it's going to get on some people, like what if it's a scent that some people just hate, okay? And they're not gonna tell you that because they wanna be polite, but you wearing it every day, every day to work. You in the cubicle, John is about to choke, you choking John out every, switch it up. <laughs> Even if you got three to five in rotation, switch it up. I don't care if you have one bottle and you playing with decants. You got a little royalty scent subscription where you get a new decant or something every month. You need to switch up your scent. And um, I say that because it's like anything else in life. I don't care if Alexander McQueen rose, you know, from his grave and made you a diamond crusted like gant. Nobody wants to see you in it every day. Nobody wants to see that every day. You can have the filet mignon, okay, from, listen, nobody wants to eat that every day. I don't care how great the meal is. Nobody wants the same thing every day, and your scent is no different. So let me stop with my rants, and we're gonna get into fragrances that I feel like would just make beautiful signature scents, okay? But we gonna, we gonna go home with about three of these, okay, at minimum. Okay, so, a signature scent, what does that entail, require? It requires that it works for all the seasons. It requires that it works for most occasions. Um, I get for something super, super special, you may want to, you know, dive into something a little different, but a signature scent should fit majority of special occasions. It should be work appropriate. It should be date night appropriate. And this is where we're coming into, you know, this territory of you need more than one. What I wear to work, okay, it's, it's just not different from what I'm wearing, you know, for my man when, when we going to Nobu. Like, it should not smell the same. You need to be laying out something completely sexy that is inappropriate for work when y'all going on a, a nice expensive hot date like come on okay so i digress let me let me get back girl let me just tell you these signature scents i picked out because i keep going up on this tangent the first one is going to be uh delena exclusive 
Delena is one of my top of the tops. Anyone who watches this channel knows that. And it's funny, I don't even wear Delena that much, but it is the feeling I get from when I wear Delena that makes it uber special. Delena Exclusive is going to work better in um, more of the seasons, okay? Delena Exclusive is a little less tart than the original. Um, it's creamier, it's more vanillic, it's a little bit more grown up. Whereas Delena is maybe like, you know, in her mid to late 20s. Um, I feel like the exclusive, you know, she has a mortgage. <laughs> she um, has all the bills paid on time. She, yeah, she is that, uh, that woman. I don't even wanna say that girl. Delena exclusive is that woman. And you can't tell her nothing, she is bad. I don't mean like, you know, 21, 22, oh, she's bad. No, this woman has it together. And she is over sophisticated, elegant, and she is just glamour. She's glamorous. That is what Delina Exclusive does for me. It makes you feel so beautiful, so attractive, and you're like men, so they one ingredient that they left off of the list um as far as the the the, the notes is google gaga google gaga they put in here because that is what men say when they smell a woman in any of the delinas okay so when i say delina is on this list just pick one <laughs> it don't matter which of the three just pick one but i feel like the exclusive is going to be the most wearable for all the seasons and all the occasions. You can dress her up, you can dress her down, um, and she's always, you know, that put together chick. So, moving on is, let me tell you. Now, if you had to smell like one thing, it may need to be African Arab 221 because Trying to find the words. This thing is magical. Abracadabra is the only thing they could have named this because 221 is something magical. And literally, literally every woman that smells it has the same reaction. I have yet to come across anyone in a comment, anyone in a YouTube video, anyone on my IG that says they don't like the scent, okay? that is not absolutely floored and, um, you know, mouth on the ground from the scent. The scent is gorgeous. It's the aldehyde. It's the gorgeous mix of, you know, this floral bouquet. It is, you know, the sit it's everything. The total package, the notes in here are just so stunning. It's powdery, um, it's aldehyde. It's super, super feminine. And there is no, there's nothing like it. This thing is just amazing. It is just amazing. And it's going to get you so many compliments. You're going to smell so, when I say 90210, I don't even know. What's the rich zip code? Okay, Calabasas, what's y'all zip code? That is what this smells like. This is money. This is, you know, this is elegance. This is rich. This is, she has a driver. She has a house staff. <laughs> she is definitely on her second husband. Um, and I mean, it's just everything. This is so, it's so womanly. It is so, it's got this alluring quality to it. You can wear this to work, okay? You can wear this out to brunch. You can wear this, um, you know, on a, this is more of a daytime scent. But if you wanted to wear this at night, like I feel like this is just so unique and special. Whenever you decide to put Abracadabra 221 on, it's gonna be appropriate, okay? Because it is just magical. Like, when I open the top, I almost envision like just little <laughs> sparkles like flying out the top because it's amazing. This is my daughter's like number one favorite scent like of them all. Yeah hefty price tag but is it worth the coins that is something very subjective but to me in my opinion 
um yes because we all have those fragrances that we pay top dollar for where we feel like this is nice but it's not you know it's not worth that i definitely got some of those this is worth every red cent plus tax okay plus the shipping it's worth all of that um african number two two one by the house of kriegler gorgeous feminine classy sophisticated scent that just, i mean basically jumps you up a tax bracket or two that's what you're gonna feel like when you put her on all right so the next one on this list is the gorgeous dama bianca and this is by Georgia. um very very powdery gorgeous elegant fruity vanilla it has kumquat it has a plethora of purple flowers <laughs> i can't remember them I know Iris, um, maybe some, I don't think Heliotrope is in here. Iris, some Violet, but it's very powdery. It's sweet. This one is so girly, dainty. Um, I feel like this kind of transcends age. I could see someone 21 wearing this um, and I can see someone 70 wearing it. Like this is a gorgeous vanilla scent. I feel that this is just one every woman kind of needs to get her nose on. It's not going to be for everyone, but you, everyone needs to smell it and test it on their skin because it starts off like the barley note is really prominent. And I actually like the barley note, but some people don't. But once it dries down, it just turns into this gorgeously soft, almost like ethereal, sweet vanilla. Okay, it's exotic, it's, oh, it's just everything. Like if you're trying to get a very girly vanilla um, that, that's uber feminine, this is the one to get your nose on. It is so gorgeous, I love this scent. And yeah, my daughter's been all up in it lately, so <laughs> we both love it. And it's like I said, it transcends age. This is a gorgeous scent. And one you should definitely check out. Again, that is Dama Bianca by Zersha. All right, so the next one on this list actually somewhat reminds me of Dama Bianca, but it does veer up into a different territory. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Honey, she has all of her stuff together. <laughs> Gentle Fluidity Gold is this amazing juniper berry, um, woody scent, and it's it's got this muskiness to it that is just so clean and so sensual when you wear this to work you will be so well respected because you're gonna smell so good and professional however if you wanted to wear this um you know to just run errands you're gonna smell amazing if you wanted to wear this to church wear this to brunch like you could like this i personally probably wouldn't wear on a date night but if you wanted to wear this on the evening out, you absolutely could. Like this is an all wear, all weather type of scent. Like this is so signature scent worthy. It is insane. If you don't smell anything else that we're talking about here today, Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirchon is one to try. It is so feminine. It's just got this air of, you know, this like allure of, of femininity like the name is perfect it's fluid it's gentle it's like this very sensual seduction to it and it is absolutely amazing gentle fluidity gold by mfk another one by mfk is going to be baccarat rouge 540 baccarat rouge is the gold we're not gonna spend too much time on this fragrance because everyone uh watching any type of fragrance content knows it but this is a must honey you could wear this to work. You could wear this on a sexy date night. You could wear this to a wedding. You can wear this to a funeral, okay? From the, the cradle to the, like this has got you covered. This checks all the boxes. Do you want to smell rich? Check. Elevated? Check. Sweet? Sensual? Check. Like it checks all the boxes. This thing is unisex. It wears wonderfully on a man or a woman. It is uber, like sophisticated, elevated. It's all that, okay? Highly coveted, like the gold, and it's for a reason. It is for a reason. Get it in your collection, okay? Test it out, get it. It is one to have. So the next one up on this list is going to be Peregrina, and this is by the House of Kameen. 
This is a very, very feminine, sophisticated. When I say feminine, know that a man can still pull these scents off. Like it's all about the body chemistry. And when I say feminine, when I'm describing a scent, it's more about not the smell, but how it makes me feel. I just want to put that out there um, because Peregrina is sweet. I can, but I can see a man pulling this off like easily. It's very like caramel, vanilla, white flowers. I have to like white flowers. There is rose in here and I pick up on the rose. Some people don't. This is not blown by worthy because honey, like people's opinions about this are so all over the place. People are pulling notes. Like that's with any perfume. People are going to be pulling different notes, but I feel like People really just pull things really differently with this particular scent. I get a very, um, you know, I was I would say this is a more mature rose. Like I'm a rose lover, so I love them all. Like young, old, like it doesn't matter. This is a mature rose to me. This is white floral. This is caramel. I get the caramel throughout the life of the fragrance. It's very caramel heavy. You have to understand if you have dry skin. Things are not going to be sweet on you. Sweet notes are not going to pull the same on you. I have very well moisturized, like naturally moisturized skin and I over moisturize. Like I'm always trying to make sure that I maintain a healthy glow to my skin. I moisturize, I take my skincare beer seriously. So the caramel is coming out on me. Some people say they don't get no caramel. I'm like, how can you not? Like it's at the top. <laughs> um, but again, body chemistry is just very real. How you take care of your skin, it affects the way notes pull on you. So Peregrina, wow. I mean, what beautiful. It's slightly powdery. It's, um, to me, this is a very unique scent. I don't, I've never smelled anything quite like this. Love this scent. When I want to feel, you know, um, I would say elegant. When I want to feel classy, like a lady, that is when I'm pulling for Peregrina. But can this be a signature scent? Absolutely. Absolutely. Something about the white florals, it just, you know, it just screams femme. It just screams anytime, any place. Love, love, love a good white floral. Next, moving on is Monger Lawn. I have not talked about my boo in a while on this channel, but she's about to get her, her roses today. This is a gorgeous vanilla lavender. This is a lavender that is suited so well for a feminine, you know, a feminine vibe. Like most lavenders automatically make a scent pull masculine. Um, very, you know, aromatic. This is super feminine. It's sweet. It's got, like I said, very wonderful aromatic quality. It's got some citruses in there. So it's got a little bit of freshness. I would say this one over the intense, just because I feel like, I don't know, it's just something about the freshness that this one pulls that makes it just a little bit more versatile to me. To me, in my opinion, I love them both. Um, but this thing is so, so gorgeous. If you have not smelled Longer Lawn, highly recommend it. I love the Mon Exclusive. <laughs> I love the Intense. I love them all. They're just a, it's a very gorgeous fragrance. And um, that goes for many of the flankers as well. I haven't had tested all the flankers, but majority of the flankers are beautiful as well. Lovely, lovely DNA. And they, Guerlain like really hit it home when they came out with this one. It's such a crowd pleaser, such a fan fave. So if you're looking for a signature scent, this is one they have. I actually got my mom a big bottle of the Intense because she's definitely a signature scent type of girl. So I wanted to kind of upgrade her, um, get her something new because she'd been wearing um, Pleasures by Estee Lauder for like the last 25 years. So yeah, so yeah. All right, next on this list is going to be Skirt Cell by Mila Harris. Yes, I gave this thing a break for like a good two, three videos, but it's time to bring her back because y'all know I love this scent. Super super unique rose oud combination it's not like any other rose oud you've ever smelled this is not a heavy thick woody like you know like oud is so overpowering it's dark it's deep it's never transparent this is a transparent scent 
you can wear this oh to work with confidence that is a, this is just a note that i don't do at work but for this one it works this is such a compliment getter it is very sweet i don't know what sweet notes they use because they don't list it but for some reason it's almost kind of like this sugary honey type of sweetness again it maintains a transparency just as Baccarat Rouge does, even though it's very sticky sweet. It's not going to be heavy glowing. It's not like that because it's, it's just blended beautifully and in a very transparent manner. It's an Artemisia. I think there's some, no, not Artemisia. I think there's Devana um, in the opening. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Talk about smelling unique. Talk about smelling feminine. Um, it's just, it's something just very addictive and bewitching about the scent. And I just, it's, my daughter got me the body wash and the, and the body cream and I'm just getting my whole skirt so light. <sighs> Been trying to stay away from her and we still, we still like hurting the body, like this polar dent. Cannot wait to re-up. And I will be getting the 100 mils. Normally I don't do 100 mils unless it's the only size available. But I love this so much and I use it so much that the 100 is gonna get used up quick. So definitely we'll be upgrading a size and that is Scarce by Miller Harris. Wonderful signature scent, worthy, unique uh, fragrance that I feel like every woman should get their nose on. So this one's actually my scent of the day. This is Deja Vu White Flower 57. When I tell you this, this is going to be my next full bottle. This mini is like, why? Like, I need a full bottle. This is so beautiful. This is a like nectarine, super sweet white floral. So I love starting in the shower with my nectarine blossom honey by Jo Malone. I use that body wash and then I put a little bit of the Nishane oil in my moisturizer and I cover my whole body with it. So the 100 Silent Ways oil, it's got peach. It has white florals. So when I tell you this layers beautifully and I, I cover my skin, my exposed skin in the white flower 57. Gorgeous, sweet nectarine. I mean, she really, really, really knocked it out of the park with this one. Like, you don't even have to like white florals, I'm telling you. And because I've gotten a lot um, more desensitized to white florals, they don't all feel so like sharp and white to me. Like at first I kind of got that vibe from this until the dry down, but right off the bat, it's just a beautiful, sweet nectarine, um, you know, accented with the tuberose and the garden, the jasmine. Lots of white florals, but done so beautifully. And this one has some of the best longevity of uh, the entire Kelly range. So highly recommend it. Like this one, um, work, okay? <laughs> like church, you can definitely wear this to a wonderful day party. You can, this is very versatile. Um, but like I said, sweet and super pretty, super pretty white floral. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know when you did have a signature scent, what it was, or if you could only pick one fragrance to wear day in and day out, what would it be? What would be your signature scent if you had to pick one? But praying we never do, okay? All right, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on, you guys. And last but not least, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. I have really thoroughly enjoyed my time with you all, but I will have to catch you on the next one.